Hello everyone and welcome to Junket Squared. It's your boy Jay Stanley here. Today we're doing a WOW video. WOW stands for Worth It or Waste, where we determine whether an annual fee for a particular credit card is either worth it or waste for the monetary value that you're getting out of that card. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos like this. Stick around. <music> So today we're doing the American Express Aeroplan Reserve Card. This is a very coveted card in Canada for Air Canada Aeroplan points. Now this card does come in three different flavors. We have the American Express Aeroplan card, which is a charge card from American Express. We have the American Express Aeroplan Business Reserve card, which is a business version of the card we're going to cover today. And the card we're covering today is again, I said, the American Express Aeroplan Reserve card. So this card comes with a hefty fee. $599 annual fee for this card. To some, that seems like a lot, and to others, that seems typical for a card of this of this status. So let's put on to the WOW chart, $599 as our annual fee start, okay? We're going to base this off of a traveler who travels about once a year for about a week period of time, okay? So um, this won't cover for your typical business traveler or someone who's traveling a lot for with their family, but I want to cover the bare minimum just to see if the bare minimum traveler one trip for one week per year can cover the monetary value of this card. You can then multiply that for yourself on how much you travel, whether you travel twice a year with the family, whether you travel once a month for business purposes on your own dime, or however you want to do it, you can do the calculations alternatively outside of our one week term. But we're keeping the bare minimum here just for our charge purposes, let's get into it. Now before I go on, as anyone knows, uh, when you do get a credit card, the value you get out of the first year is often different than we get out of subsequent years after that. So um, you sometimes get certain bonuses within that first year, whether it's for point bonuses, etc. And sometimes certain things don't kick in until your second and third year having a card. So for that, I have broken down the chart into your first year value and your subsequent year value out of these cards, okay? First thing I want to break down is the Nexus Pass or the Trusted Traveler programs with this card. So with this, you do get a $50 reimbursement for using this card towards purchasing your Nexus Global Entry Pass, okay? Now this does carry a $50 value, uh, US dollars. That equates to about $65 to $70 Canadian, depending on where the, uh, the market is at the time. Uh, with that being said, you are if you are renewing or purchasing your Nexus Pass the first year with your card, you are getting a $68 value towards this card. Though they do offer you $100, unless you're purchasing for your spouse or for your children, someone additional to yourself, then you'll be able to get the full $100 value out of it. So for subsequent years, since it is a, on a four year rotating value, so they give you $100 for every four years, and if you are renewing on any subsequent year, your first year you might get nothing out of it because you like myself, I got that card this year. I'm not due to renew for another um, three years where I am right now. So I wouldn't be able to get value of that until my third year with the card. Uh, someone else, they might get it in their second year. Some people might get it on their first year. It all depends on what year you're looking at. And you have to break that down into a four year slice breakdown. So if that's a value of $25 per year, and if you were only purchasing for yourself, $50 US, you're looking at about $17 Canadian with the exchange rate, um, anywhere between $13 and $17 Canadian. That brings our total down to $531 Canadian on your first year with the card if you are renewing your Nexus on that first year. And it brings your subsequent years down to $585.50. Uh, I put the value at about $13.50 value for subsequent years with this card off of the Nexus alone. Okay, moving on next to checked bags. Now, this I know is a small fee sometimes for some people, but this is the most slept on fee and advantage about a credit card that you can actually get. It's so slept on, people don't realize how much baggage fees can add up. So with Air Canada, a typical baggage fee is $3 for your first bag, $50 for your second bag, right? Or any bags thereof. Um, that's for travel, travel within Canada, travel in the US is the same thing, and travel within North America, so Mexico, Caribbean, etc also the same thing. The only time that price goes up is when you're looking at international travel, and that's where your first bag is $70, and any second bag and going forward is $100, okay? The key about this is, with this card, 
go over to the terms of services here. A basic card member or eligible supplementary card member and up to eight other passengers traveling on the same reservation, up to a maximum of nine travelers, that's, that's including yourself, are entitled to a free first checked bag up to 50 pounds, 23 kilograms. First free checked bag up to eight, not nine people. So if there's nine of you, if you're like, you know, the McAllister's going on Christmas holiday <laughs> and there's nine of you going, you can get 30 times nine, which is $270 worth of checked bags for there. And then double that up to come back. So that comes to 540. So if nine of you all got a big check, that's $540 you're saving for checked bags to go to your destination and come back. So that is very valuable. And I know a lot of people who watch this channel, uh, they got families, they got kids, they go on family trips, whether it's just, you know, two of you or four of you or three of you, whether you're going with like, with me, I travel with my with, with my wife, my two kids, sometimes we go with her mother as well. That's, you know, five of us going on a trip, having those checked bags taken care of for us with the card, that saves a lot of money. That's great for, for us and for our pocket and for yours too. So looking at our chart, we can add $30 right there for your first check bag. We'll keep it again with just one single traveler going for one week. So that's there and back. We can actually subtract that even more because that's $30 times two. So that's $60 for there and back. And that brings our total down to $471 right now for your first year with this card. And supplementary years, that brings it down to $525, okay? And then, like, again, that's for a single traveler. So just think about that. If you double it up with you and your spouse, you and your children, anybody else, that number is already adding up. We're already cutting into this annual fee already with the two items that I've already mentioned thus far. Okay, so coming in next, we are looking at the Maple Leaf Club lounges, which you get free with your American Express Aeroplan Reserve card. Yes, you do. These clubs, you have different levels of them. You have ones for across, you have memberships that go across Canada, memberships for North America, and memberships worldwide. Now, I'm looking forward to say one time, uh, a one-time entrance free, a one-time entrance fee, so a single pass. Uh, they cost around $50, give or take. That's what the running average for, for most lounges. Most of those are give, given out when you have, you know, certain reward cards or meet certain levels within Air Canada. The memberships, they cost around $350 for just a basic Canada membership. Now, they are temporarily suspending selling the Maple Leaf Club memberships. They still are. They've closed it off since... Uh, COVID days, you haven't been able to buy a membership uh, unless you already are currently still a member. I don't know when that's opening up again. So that value right there alone is something that you cannot get. A uh, foreign individual membership is um, something to, to consider. It might be worth it to have something to be able to, somewhere just to sit down and relax before, and after, before after your flight, whether you're coming or going to your destination. Uh, that being said, I will add the $50 um, individual fee to our wow chart and that brings our total down to $421 for your initial year and the subsequent years to $475 for each subsequent year so you are getting value out of this card for these passes again if you travel more than once if you do travel three four five times a year you know, that number will add up. And it's something that you may or may not have gone for your personally, but it is a nice added bonus to have with the value of the card you are getting. Speaking of lounges, you do get the Priority Pass membership as well with this card. So you don't just get the Air Canada Maple Leaf Lounge Pass for free. You also get the Priority Pass membership as well, which covers so many things, so many lounges across the world uh in north america south america europe and asia um and australia as well the priority pass is definitely something you always look into uh i should probably do a video on just this pass alone on what it can definitely provide for for any anyone who's definitely a jet setter or a traveler uh you get so much complimentary items and stuff you get choices of food food delivery you get access to lounges that are game room game lounges within certain airports that you have access to, massages and therapy while waiting at airports. So definitely look into 
the priority pass yourself. I will do a video on it at some point because I do want to be able to cover some of what this pass has to offer. It's definitely very good, uh, definitely a good one. And you do get it with, uh, whoops, what? I don't need cookies right now. All right, but fine, set them all. I don't care, I don't care. There we go, there, now, now, now they got me, they got me now. Anyways, um, now this pass does cost $120. For the basic pass i don't i'm not on the page right now for the cost of the the passes but is 120 dollars for the priority pass so that is a yearly cost and so for your first year if you do get this pass you are bringing your total down to 301 dollars for your first year and 355 50 for any subsequent years so this is definitely i find the value of this more so than the actual cost in general to, to even speak of so that is knowing that being said i think this alone is probably well worth they love this hit me with ads hey eh? look at that look at that this is definitely well worth the annual fee you're paying for this card flat out moving on from there okay another often slept on item is the is parking at the airport now with this card with the american express airplan reserve card it is focused on pearson airport so if your hub airport isn't toronto pearson airport out of toronto ontario canada this may not be as valuable to you as it is to others um with the majority of the population in canada living in ontario it is definitely a major hub for most canadians to utilize when flying when, when, when flying anywhere really so as opposed to just taking your regular parking garage or the viscount parking at pearson airport this gives you access to the valet parking you will drop off your vehicle at terminal one they will take care of your car for you park it for you bring it back to you when you're ready after your trip so the one-time valet fee is twenty dollars that's a flat out fee that comes out using the service in general maximum per day comes to fifty six dollars which for a daily rate that's you know starting to add up now weekly maximum is 275 so your first seven days only any days after that our initial 56 dollars this for a one week service will come to a total of 285 dollars out of your pocket now i believe this actually has gone up it used to be a little less before but anyways that then is covered by the american express airplane reserve card Okay. When you use that card to make your payment, uh, they will see, oh, it's that card. They swipe it. You're not getting charged for it. That is on them. So this is a complimentary service for you now, which is valued at $285 for one week. Now, again, if you travel for more than one week within a year, right? Well, I travel for business. I would go away for weeks at a time uh, or a week at a time. And it would be every one or two months I would go. So, you know, I might be gone. For a week in January, maybe gone another week in March, maybe gone for a few days in April, and then maybe a, a week and a half in in June, right? So that would add up for me quite a bit. And people use this parking feature where I know my car is safe and taken care of by the valet parking. That brings our first year total value down to $16. Now we're paying $16 for this card, and subsequent years that brings it down to $70.50. Okay. All right, so now, bringing down to the real, the real business here, the real bread and butter. I need to discuss the all elusive companion pass. Now, this is something that a lot of American airlines had started. Um, I had not quite seen it in Canada as much in the last couple of years. The companion pass is a pass that is given to you to have a partner fly with you on your next paid fare. So if I'm paying for a flight from for myself from say Toronto to Los Angeles, if the value of the flight is less than $599, I can have a companion such as my wife or a friend of mine come with me for the value of my seat that I purchase for free. And in addition to, right? So the same value that I'm getting, they're getting if I buy if I'm getting, uh, I think it's the only economy that I do it for. I'm gonna do it for the other ones up. Uh, let's double check that. Either way, that I think is a game changer. Being able to have a companion pass, even if it's for a family trip, right? Paying for one less person on that trip is a game changer, especially if it's the value is coming to $599, okay? Now, probably won't use it for a flight that costs me $99 because, I mean, 
making sure I'm I'm getting the, the, the free flight. But I mean, I want to make sure I get the most bang for my bucks. So I'm going to probably do it for a flight that is definitely higher, uh, higher value to me. So the thing about this is for your first year, this is not included. You only get the companion pass after one year of service with this card. So this card, this pass is not available to you in your first year, but it's available to you for subsequent years. So looking at our wow chart, our first year value, which is at zero, leaves our total still at $16 we're paying for this card out of pocket for one week, one time, sorry, for a once a year trip for one week. But for subsequent years, if we are looking, I average it out. So between $99 and $599, I'm coming to $349. Just to kind of make it fair, I wasn't going to go to the full max. I wasn't going to go to the bottom minimum either. I put it $349, which is right back in the middle between $99 and $599. And that brings our total down to a negative $278.50. So looking at this right now, it looks like this card is already starting to pay off quite a bit. Um, again, we're using the bare minimum for our numbers and we've already come down to $16 for our first year and negative $270 for sub subsequent years. And I can't kid you not, if we just do one more trip, um, even a day trip <laughs> uh, in that first year, this $16 is going to get eaten up right away. So again, if you do travel more than once a year, this is definitely a card. I think that the value is already showing itself um, in leaps and bounds. Now that to addition to this card, monetary value alone is one thing, but again, you have to also remember, even though we're only paying $16 on one end and we're getting paid on the other end, or $278, if you look at this card also gives you a lot more benefits as well. You're getting three points per dollar spent on air can and airplane related products. You are getting two points for every dollar spent on food and food delivery uh, as well. You're getting 1.25 points on all other eligible purchases. Points are still very valuable. You're getting a, uh, you can get a bonus of 85,000 airplane points. That's 55 points after spending six grand in your in net purchases on your first six months of card membership, uh, you also are getting an extra 5,000 points for each month when you spend $1,000 on your card each of those six months. So you can get a total of 85,000 extra points on top of it. And those points go towards your travel, um, car rentals, anything you want. I find for flights is the best value out of these, out of these points. So 85,000 points, a lot of points to, you know, be able to get, take access as well and with the value of aeroplan points which are about two cents per point you're looking at about a hundred sorry you're looking about at one thousand seven hundred dollars worth of travel benefits from those points alone so those points alone are already giving you almost two grand in value uh that you can utilize for for flights and trips and and everything else plus the points you're accumulating with your purchases directly yeah this card definitely pays for itself without the monetary um, items as well like you're if you're literally getting um almost 2,000 points in your first year alone and when you are doing your regular spend uh for subsequent years being able to v validate the 599 annual fee with those points but again you are getting things like the companion pass which i think is one of the which literally covers the entire cost of the card if you are looking at it at full value you're getting other items as well like priority check-in, boarding and baggage handling as well. Uh, you get to roll over unused status qualifying miles. You're looking at uh, earned status qualifying miles as well. Airplan and Avis are partnered, so they can offer complimentary upgrades to Avis Presence Club on, on your Aeroplan Platinum credit card. So you're getting a lot of extra features out of this card beyond the monetary value and beyond the points. So looking at it here with our wow chart, is this card worth it or a waste in my opinion? Well, look at the numbers. Numbers don't lie. This card is definitely worth it. So if you are someone who doesn't mind that annual fee, but does see the value in what you're getting out of this card, I say the American Express Aeroplan Reserve card is definitely for you. All right. So this is Jay Stanley. I'm out. Take care. All right. Happy travels.